Breaking, Prince Charles appointed next head of Commonwealth. Commonwealth leaders have voted for Prince Charles to succeed the Queen as head of the Commonwealth after royal backing from his mum yesterday, according to sources. The heir to the throne was given the backing of the 53-nation body as they met behind closed doors to discuss the move today. The Queen has filled the role since 1952 but the position is not automatically given to the monarch. There had been suggestions the role should rotate around member states as it would be more democratic. A snub for Charles would have been hugely embarrassing, as he is already considered less popular than his son William. In fact, there have already been calls for the role of king to pass over him and go straight to his son such as the popularity of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. A poll by Prospect magazine last year showed that a fifth of people would be less supportive of the monarchy if Charles was king. However the Queen and her hard work has been the glue holding the organization together, and Charles is seen as the next best thing after she dies. Many feel however that choosing Charles would be the Commonwealth holding on to one of the few ties that bind the 53 diverse countries together. But there were some dissenting voices. Jeremy Corbyn said he thought Charles should not automatically become head of the 53 nation group. Speaking on BBC's Andrew Marshall he said, I think the Commonwealth ought to really get a chance to decide who its own head is in the future. The Queen clearly is personally very committed to the Commonwealth but after her I think maybe it's a time to say well actually the Commonwealth should decide who its own president is on a rotational basis. The Queen endorsed her son as future leader at the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting at Buckingham Palace on Thursday. She said it was her sincere wish he would take over the role someday. She told leaders, It is my sincere wish that the Commonwealth will continue to offer stability and continuity for future generations and will decide that one day the Prince of Wales will carry on the important work started by my father in 1949. Many expected Charles would automatically get the job, but it is not her editory and will not automatically be passed on to the Prince of Wales after the Queen's death. Charles himself has outlined his credentials for the role. He said, For my part, the Commonwealth has been a fundamental feature of my life for as long as I can remember, beginning with my first visit to Malta when I was just five years old. I consider myself fortunate over the years to have been able to meet and talk with so many of the giants of the Commonwealth Sir Robert Menzies, Quam Kruma, Sir Keith Holyoke, Jomo Kenyatta, Pierre Trudeau, Kenneth Conda, Julius Nair, Lee Kuan Yew and many more. On the foundations they laid, the modern Commonwealth has a vital role to play in building bridges between our countries, fairer societies within them and a more secure world around them. Prime Minister Theresa May has already given her backing to Prince Charles, with her official spokesman saying, the government supports the Prince of Wales as the next head of the Commonwealth, he has been a proud supporter of the Commonwealth for more than four decades. Canadian PM Justin Trudeau said on Thursday, I very much agree with the wishes of Her Majesty that the Prince of Wales be the next head of the Commonwealth. Maltese PM Joseph Muscat appeared to take Charles' role for granted. He said, We are certain that, when he will be called upon to do so, he will provide solid and passionate leadership for our Commonwealth. And Keith Mitchell, the Prime Minister of Grenada, told the BBC, It would be good news. The Queen herself does very well and certainly we have been fortunate to have her leadership of stable leadership over this period. But having the Prince of Wales would certainly not be an unhelpful act at this point in time. Even the British pubic are divided over whether Prince Charles should be the next Commonwealth leader. A poll of 1,030 people by Sky News revealed 54% of Britons think the Prince of Wales should take over from the Queen, 32% think it should rotate between representatives from other Commonwealth countries, 10% said neither and 14% answered don't know. Commonwealth leaders will meet behind closed doors at Windsor Castle to discuss whether the Prince of Wales should succeed his mother. Earlier this week it was announced the Queen bestowed the role of Commonwealth Youth Ambassador on Charles' son Prince Harry, 
who along with the British Prime Minister delivered a speech at the opening of the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting. Harry said, in my new role, I will work to support the Queen, my father the Prince of Wales, and my brother William, all of whom know that young people are the answer to the challenges of today. I am also incredibly grateful that the woman I am about to marry, Meghan, will be joining me in this work, of which she too is hugely excited to take part in. My Zadiki, an award-winning Nigerian writer had called for Meghan Markle to be the next head of the Commonwealth. Speaking to Channel 4's Jon Snow, she said, Actually, I think Meghan Markle should be head of the Commonwealth. And you know black people are gorgeous so, of course, a person who 